So there you go. There you go. Fresh take one. Thanks for the two bucks. We covered this maybe on the first episode or at least the second episode. Shane O'Mac, Coast to Coast. Did you ever get credit from him? No, he never. I don't remember him ever mentioning it to me. If he did, then uh, I don't remember. He definitely didn't give me credit. No, nah, he didn't. It never came up. It never came up. Um, I believe that Paul showed him footage of me doing the Van Terminator and asked him, can you do this? Can you do that? He said, oh, maybe if I put a trash can on the ropes, I got like an extra three feet there. I don't have to fly down. Uh, so that's what the coast to coast is. But, but um, you know, I get I get credit from uh, from you guys, from uh, all the all the hardcore fans that were there from the beginning. Yep, yep. It's amazing, anyway. Like a lot of my stuff. But I thought of that with the Van Terminator, like how how could I just be the first one to ever think of doing that? You know, like. But my thinking is obviously out of the box. I don't see any other way, and so when i do moves that people haven't seen some you know part of me is like how is that you know it's a four-sided ring three ropes wrestling's been around for you know a long long time right hundreds of years if you want to go back to uh, uh odysseus and uh battling over the armor of ajax uh <laughs> anyway um I'm I'm pretty stoked that I've gotten credit for being original. And when I started hearing that, it made me put more energy into that, into celebrating my individuality and and being uh, more confident that being myself was the right decision. And uh, boom, it just all all worked out so organically. Yeah, that leads me to a couple of questions regarding the doc too because what was neat is like they showed your band terminator like a couple times on the documentary and like uh, i remember watching seeing it for the first time when i was like 14 or 13 and being like i did not know that was possible <laughs> like yeah, right. the right thing to do and so it like completely blew my mind it was like the most amazing move i've ever seen and like so like for you to think like oh i can't believe nobody's ever done that before like or nobody thought about that before where i didn't think it was physically possible for somebody to do so but that i mean in all likelihood that thought probably is what kept anyone else from thinking of doing it yeah. was just the subconscious understanding that that can't be done mm -hmm. and so that's like a uh, a barrier that not everyone um, can comfortably think around. So uh, now, now that now that I've proved it can be done, I see guys on indie shows. You know, the neon green dude runs uh, halfway down the top rope and then jumps off it. You know, to to make it his own, and it's like, uh, or they do shooting stuff, whatever. Um, pretty cool, you know. But but, but also. Sometimes the ring is 16 feet. Sometimes it's 20, 24 feet if you're in Japan. So, so um, that, that makes a big difference. Sometimes the ropes are loose. Sometimes they're tight. Huge, huge variety there when you wrestle for different companies in different uh, levels of promotions and all over the world. You know, you can't count on consistency with with any of that. So, so th that is a, a move that takes... Um, you know, uh, you hope for the best conditions to pull it off anyway.